do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world. And he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar Order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grand Pré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. I've got your animus ready and waiting.
We're ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. Back to life and put you back to work. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Uncultured swine, you should not have left your backwater colony. Ouais, retourne à Boston. No, stop! Stop! I'm <laughs> Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe.
you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Hmm. Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti Falls or... Lisbon. Or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook... He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Gist! Do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Here we go. And up comes the slip the strong as a horse. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend.
think what that these fishes are saying is right. We'll haul up our gear now and steer for the light. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather, when the wind blows, we'll all pull together. There she is, the HMS Pembroke, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it, if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real, uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Let heavy through. It is imperative we stop those sir. ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. They're not alone, sir. They're Make good use of your own war, sir. It's going to prove crucial if we are to succeed. Ready to fire! Fire! Report! What is our status? Ready to fire! They're carrying us away! Right! We're going to hit! Short sail! Get off the squad! Crowd on every They're firing mortars! We're lower powder in the fall! They're coming forward! Fire! Ease off the way! I believe Buster Kenley is ready to get the squad. Oh, they're that dangerous right now. She's stuck! Fire! Dear God, fire ships! Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet! We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir! It's the Experto Credit! That Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Ready, Captain! Fire! Get 
Grab the mainsails into the wind. Blue sails. Let's move. Full sails. More fire ships. Take in that sheet. Mortars incoming, Shay. Fire. Blue up. Blue up. How do you like the water, huh? Cannon ready. Fire. Fire. Captain! Close down, Garrett! Fire! Miss! Get them aloft! Don't on sail! All in sails! Heave! Fire! 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 This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. Foreign wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. But the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At Iwale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Give me... Saints for service! What is that doing here? That makes no sense. 
Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. She's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? Would be foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye. We need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morrigan close, Gist. I can keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. So, the Templars sent their dog out. Time to test your metal shit.
Unfurled, mate! He's getting away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. And Marley is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he's most at ease. Fight those barters! Else we'll be swimming home tonight! This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And Wally won't be able to get out. He's beached his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Go after him, Shay. I will circle gun. around. Come, come! 
You will die as a traitor! Forgive me, Adewale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shape. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. <laughs>